Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up Aggregator for Ubuntu, which is a Linux distribution. I'm not sure which other distributions you can get Aggregator for, if you can get them for all of them, because I don't have experience with all of them, but um, I know that with Ubuntu you can easily find it just by going on the software center and searching for it. So the first thing you need to do is type in the search bar Aggregator, and it should pop up right away. And you can click on the More Info button, it's going to give you a short description of what it is. It's basically a news feed reader, um, if you're familiar with RSS and all those, um, the news feeds and all that, um, you know what this is. It's, it's an application designed where you can put the RSS links in there and it'll list up the articles for that website, which is very good and has many more options that I'll get into once I boot up the program and all that. Um, I've already downloaded and installed it because it's a big download. I didn't want to waste time on this video trying to download it. So, um, but it, but if you haven't installed it yet, you'll notice over here I have the remove button. On yours, it'll be the install button. So you just want to click install and then just type in the password that you have for Ubuntu if you do have one, and it'll start downloading. It's about 70 megabytes. Shouldn't take too long. And once it's finished downloading, it'll automatically install it and you'll be ready to go. Um, once you've installed it, you're gonna want to boot it up. Uh, the easiest way I find to be able to find it is just go in here, click internet apps, and it should be right there. I already have aggregator set up and it's already running, so everything is good to go. Um, this will be the screen that'll pop up whenever you open it. And as you can see over here, here are your feeds, and you have a few buttons at the top, I'll get to those later. Um, the first thing you're gonna want to do is set up your own feed. So, because as Accreator does come with their feeds, but you want to set up a feed for a website that you want to get your articles from. So, as you can see, I already have one of my own setup, which is CNN, but I'm going to go and get another link out so you can see how to set up your own feed. So you're just going to want to open up your web browser, and just give it a second to load. Alright, and you're going to want to navigate to a website that you want to get the link from, or the feed from. So I'm going to go to CNN again, and on CNN they have their RSS feed right at the bottom. So we're going to scroll all the way down and click on RSS down here. It's going to pop up a new page. Now, this is where I got the um, the first link from, which is the US one. I'm going to get another one. Let's get the World Stories one. So we're just going to scroll right back up, and we're going to minimize this for now. And we're going to right click. I've created a new folder, but if you're going to um, just add a new feed, you don't want a new folder, you can just right click on the all folders and click add feed. But I'm going to put this one in a new folder, so right click, add feed. And as you can see, it already pasted it in there and we're going to click OK. Now here are the options that you can select for it. Um, if you do have a folder with a bunch of different feeds, you can change the name of any of them to familiar, familiarize yourself with the different um, feeds that you have on there. Now I'm just going to keep the name as it is right now because obviously it's going to be different than the US one. So this one's world, so I know this is the world news. Um, the URL, that's going to be the URL of your feed. And then the next option is going to be the custom update interval. Um, I'm going to leave this as it is, but as you can see, there are many options for it. You have minutes, hours, days, or never for updating, and this number can go anywhere from 1 to 99. So you can set up as anything you want. You want to update every 10 minutes, 10 hours, 10 days, whatever you want. But like I said, I'm just going to leave it as it is and not set up a custom update interval. You can also set it up to notify you when articles arrive. I'm not going to mess with that right now. On the next tab is the Archives tab, which has many different settings. Um, you can use the default settings, which will ar archive the files as aggregator feels necessary under the default settings that it has. Or you can do Keep All Articles, Limit the Archive to a certain amount of articles, Delete Articles that are older than a certain number of days, or just Disable Archive completely. Um, for right now, I'm just going to keep it as default settings. On the final tab, you're going to see two two options. You can choose whether or not you want to use these. Um, the first one is load the full website when, artic when reading articles. I'm going to choose this one. On the, s the second option is mark articles as read when they arrive. I'm not going to bother with that right now. And once you get all your options and preferences set up, you're just going to want to click OK. Now you can see that a new uh, feed has showed up under my folder. For you, it would be wherever you put it. If you created a new folder, it'll be under there. Wherever you decided to add the new feed, it'll add it to that folder. Now, uh, you can see there's numbers on the side right here. Those are the un amount of unread news feeds that you have coming from that single feed, or news stories that you have from that single feed. So for the world one, I obviously have 10. So here's 10 in here that I have not read yet. Under the US one, here's six. And it'll tell you the date that the feed was posted. And it'll give you a title of the art uh, article. 
and um, there's an author section in case the the feed does uh, allow to show authors. Um, I'm I guess CNN doesn't really have specific authors, so they're not going to show that. Um, whenever you click on an article, you'll see in this page it's going to load up, and it'll go straight to the article on the website, which is really nice. But if you want to say open this up in your web browser without having to read it in here, all you have to do is just double click, and it opens up right here, which is really great. Um, I'm just going to exit out of this. And then if we go back here, you'll notice that this has turned to gray. That means that the article is now marked as red. And as you can see, now I'm down to 8 because I clicked on this article as well. So now that that's that's great. And you can also mark uh, the feed as red. So if I just click mark feed as red, all of the world articles are marked as red. And then if I click up here, I can mark everything in that folder as red, everything in that. Or I can click all feeds and mark them all as red so they don't have the numbers next to them letting you know how many unread feeds you have. Now, another cool thing is that if you've never used um, a news feed program like Aggregator, you, but you have used news feeds from your web browser, you can import them by just going to File and Import Feeds. Now, I don't have any feeds that I need to import, but that's an, that's an easy way for you to bring them in in case you've never used a news feed program like Aggregator. Um, you can also export feeds from Aggregator or you can export them from your web browser. Um, another cool thing, you know, that you can, uh, s th that is actually really nice with Aggregator is the fact that you do have a global setting. So if you do put a new feed within this folder, it's going to follow the global settings on there. But you can change individual settings. So you may have a global setting to where 10 of your news feeds are, say, set to update at about 15 minutes. You can change an individual one just by going to Edit Feed, and you can change that individual update to say 32 minutes or 40 minutes or a day and then every other news feed will be still set at the global settings but the one that you change will be different so it's nice that you can have individual settings uh, another thing that you can also do is um, you can do fetch feeds but from a single folder you can just do fetch feed from a single feed or you can do fetch all feeds from a single folder or all feeds in general so as you can see it just loaded up a new feed it's really nice, and you can update it on your own, or ha just let the intervals update. It's it's really nice, and you can also set up uh, different statuses such as unread, new, important, just so you can keep track of all your news feeds and articles and all that. So Aggregator really lets you really work with your feeds to n make it easier for you to go through all these articles and read them whenever you would like. Um, then there you have the different view modes, you know, normal view, widescreen view, combined view. And if you need to, enlarge the font or shrink the font. Um, you have other navigation buttons up here, such as previous article, previous unread article, so you can switch between the articles you have not read yet, so you don't have to scroll over all those ones that you have read. And then next article, next unread, and you can also switch between previous feeds and previous unread feeds, such as going from the previous ones to the next ones. And you know, and you can also, if you select on one of the feeds, go up here and go to articles, you know, you have different options up there too, which is really great. Um, um, more settings that you can mess around with and any help that you would possibly need. So like I said about the articles thing, you just go in here, you can open in tab, open in the external browser, mark as important, like I said back here with the status, so you can you can arrange them to only show the important ones, and then mark it as read, new, unread, anything, you know, there's tons of options. It's just, Aggregator is just really great. It is free, which is also awesome, so it just really lets you keep control of all the articles that you like and all your RSS feeds in one simple application that's free with many options, folders, you can export, import, all of that stuff. So if you like if you like keeping track of all the news and you like using those RSS feeds, I really recommend downloading Aggregator for Ubuntu or for Linux. Sorry about that. Just I really recommend it. It's a great application and um, it's probably the best one that I've used. So I think that's just about it, and uh, hope you all have a good day. Thanks for watching.